Alrighty, so as you can probably tell, today is a pretty big day for the old Silverado. This is the first video marking my little truck build, I guess you want to call it. Basically, I got this 2007 Chevy Silverado 2500 that, I mean, it's a decent truck. It's 100% stock and, you know, has nothing done to it. But, just got a little surprise from Custom Offset. I guess it isn't really a surprise, like... I mean, I was the one that ordered them, but we got some wheels and tires here. Obviously, this John is not lifted. We're going to try to fit these on here without lifting it, see how it looks. Going to have to do some trimming. I'm already aware of that. Not small tires. These are 33s by 12 and a half, so I'm going to get more into it later. All that's really left to do is see if we can't jack this sucker up and shove these suckers on there, see how it looks. Boom. They are all four on, fully tightened, and you know, the whole eight yards. I say eight yards because it's not fully rideable yet. Yeah, that's typically not what you want, so. This darn fender, or bumper, whatever the heck it is, we just don't need it there. Oh! All right, so, wheels and tires are on. Looks really stinking good. Now that we've done this, it's kind of got my, you know, brain working to try to figure out what else we can do to this thing to make it look better i came up with blacking out this little emblem at first i wanted to do this whole grill like have this all blacked out but then i'd have to like black out this and i honestly kind of like the chrome just not really this and at first i was trying to pop this out so that i could paint it like shove a screwdriver in there but i started like cracking it like crazy so i think i'm just gonna like tape up all this and then get to stinking spraying so i've got this it's like semi-gloss black so hopefully it's like kind of shiny and doesn't look like you know super dull like this but we'll see and a bunch of paper to try to cover up the big spots all right last little coat here Should have hit her from all angles. All right. I'm pretty proud of that. When you look at it cross-eyed, looks just about perfect all right now that that's done i may regret this but i think i want to try to rip off these little side uh panels here or whatever i'm gonna leave the 2500 badge but i think it might look better without those there i could regret it you know the paint underneath could be clapped or it could just look a lot worse but i got some of this to help get rid of the adhesive underneath once we rip it off and i stole my mom's uh like hair blower dealio so we can heat up all of it so it should just like i don't know 
come off better if it's kind of heated up. We'll see. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but let's get to it. Oh. All right, so update. I got almost all of the like kind of residue left. Also, big difference is we took off the running boards. So I think it looks way better now. It like looks a lot taller and just like kind of sleeker, but they left like those kind of ugly like brackets hanging down there. And there's the other one right there. We could have taken it off in a way to remove those, but then we would have had to like gone and get some shorter bolts because those bolts like also held on the whole like cab supposedly. So I think I'm just gonna try to spray paint those. I mean, they're not really that noticeable to me. We may end up finding a way to get them off or maybe just cut them off, I mean. I don't really know, but first I'm gonna try to spray paint them black to see how that looks, but I, they don't really bother me very much, to be honest, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right, that already looks 10 times better with them being black now. They're super, way less noticeable. All right, got both sides painted. You went in and painted some like down there of the undercarriage that was kind of rusty and looked a little bit bad plus those little brackets that hung down there and now they're barely even noticeable also we got the metal part of the fenders completely trimmed so now there's basically zero rubbing that uh, goes on maybe like a tiny tiny bit at full turn but it clears it clears all this no problem and as you can see like looks pretty slick so I'm happy with that and it just looks so much better from the start. All right, we just got done washing it, and Will is like halfway done polishing it. It looks insane. You can basically see yourself in it. But the headlights just came in. LEDs. There's what the top looks like.
As you saw in the last clip, we got the headlights on. They look sick. They look even better at night. And we also got the whole truck polished up, cleanest it's ever been by far. No, obviously there are still some imperfections, you know, just in the clear coat. I mean, it's a pretty old truck, but it doesn't really bother me. Looks good if you look at it from far away. We got our 20 by 12 moto metals on there on our 33s. I don't remember all the specs and crap, but took off the side paneling took off the running boards and yeah just those couple things made this thing look you know completely different and I'm gonna end the video here but we still have some sick tail lights on the way you'll probably see those uh, I don't know get installed in the next video probably so I'm not fully done with this thing I also may still get an exhaust I'm not sure and I've also kind of thought about getting some different tow mirrors like the ones with like the LED strip right here but I'm not sure and also since I haven't really showed much here's the interior so I mean, it's a lot better. So yeah, with only maybe $2,800 total, truck went from this to this right here. So, looks way better. Oh yeah, and of course we blacked out the bow tie. I'm sure y'all be seeing this again later on. That's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and see y'all in the next one.